Hello everyone, this is Justin. How's it going? We're going into Game Builder Garage today for the very first time for a tutorial. So my friend sent me this level the other day when we were doing our stream for Game Builder Garage. It's a two-player level and it's really cool, but it wasn't very long until we noticed there was something kind of off. So we were going through the level and one of us died. And all of a sudden it restarted each time, which was kind of a big problem. Although it seemed like an easy fix, it actually took quite a bit of thinking and trying to get it to work right. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it for yourselves so you can create some awesome multiplayer games and not have to go through the struggle. All right, here we are at the screen. And of course I did it before, but let's go ahead and just copy it again. So you guys can see how I did it. The X button will let you get to that screen, copy and head into it. And it'll have the same issue because it's the same one as before. So let's go into the screen here and I can actually show you guys how he set this up. So if you go down to the input section, you can find state change here and then object break. That's where this one is. We're going to move this up just so it goes parallel to the other ones. And then we're going to use the middle section here and we're going to go into the timer, which is right here. Just set this one up here and then the output section, retry and swap. Then we're going to go ahead and put the retry button right here as well. Now for our setup, we only need to move this one. We're going to go ahead and move this one back to give ourselves some room. And that should be plenty. Once you have a nice amount of space to work with, we're going to go into the middle node on section and we're going to input flag counter random a counter node on. We'll be able to put this up here and this guy will tell us how many of these objects have broken. So we're going to use the count up function, which is the top dot, hook it to the broken objects section, and make sure to go in the settings here and make sure you're counting the right thing being broken. So in this case, we're going to be using UFOs. Also, you can press the Y button there to get out if you're using the Pro Controller pretty quickly. I know a lot of people use a mouse, but that's a nifty little tip for the Pro Controller users. Next, we're going to need to input a constant node on. The constant acts like a number. It's going to be something you need to use if you're needing a specific number or a specific variable integer you're going to use for your functions. Plainly put, it counts things. So we're going to go back into the middle section and we're going to need a comparison next. Let's use equal because it's the least confusing. We're trying to keep this simple. So we have a couple things here. All we have to do is connect one, the counter node on into one of the ports and the constant into the other port. Everything should be good, except for we have it set to breaking at one UFO. Let's go into the program after we connect these two and see what happens. So nothing has really changed because we still have it at one, although everything's changed because now we can make it easily different than what it is now. So since we have this whole thing here, the counter, all we have to do is click on the constant node on, click the settings and go into the little calculator. Right now it's telling the program that when one UFO is destroyed to restart, all we have to do is press two instead and it should work fine. And you can actually start it from here. You don't have to close anything. You can just press the plus button. It'll go right back into your program. And if done right, it should still be working even after one of those gets destroyed. Now this is going to be very useful for you guys who are making timer levels and you want to destroy a certain number of spheres out of a blaster and make it a survival level as well as many other functionalities. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope you have a lot of fun with it as well. It's not so hard once you know it, right? If this has helped you guys out at all, make sure you leave a like on the way out. And if you want more of these really awesome tutorials, the party's just getting started. So stay subscribed and we'll have a lot of fun with this game. I'm loving it and there's so much more to show you guys. I'm excited. So I look forward to seeing you again soon.